So we all know of that feature that comes up straight away when you open up your laptop for the first time or your PC, you set up Windows 11 and all of a sudden you're then prompted to set up that Microsoft account during the setup process. So just over a year ago, I actually made this video which I'll now put on screen, which is actually where I showed you guys on how you can skip the Microsoft account creation process using three methods. Now the most commonly used method was using the command which is also known as bypass NRO, which allows you to basically skip the network requirement feature during the setup of Microsoft Windows 11. But it appears that Microsoft have now decided to pull the rug on that command and it appears there's actually a new command which is now in town. So before we do go ahead, my name's Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub, hope you're doing well. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump straight into the video. So you probably know that we've been at this screen many times before, and yes, you are right. Over a year ago, I made a video on how you can actually skip the Windows 11 Microsoft account requirement during its initial setup. Things have changed since then. So what we actually need to now do is Microsoft have actually now decided to pull the rug on the OOBE backslash bypass NRO command, which actually, when you entered that into the command prompt, it would restart your PC, and then it would allow you to set up a local account on Windows 11. But it appears there's now a new command in town, which is even better than the three methods that I've previously published. So what we need to do, guys, is actually you need to go to the setup screen on Windows 11. You're then gonna simply hold down Shift and press F10, and this will then bring up the command prompt window just like this, right in front of you. Now, once this screen is open, you are then gonna to need to enter a command, so what we're going to do is type in the following and again I'll put everything on screen so you guys can see it much easier and the command is start ms-cxh colon and then local only and then once you've entered it exactly like this just simply hit enter and you'll then see that the Microsoft account window will pop up straight away like this. Now it's going to first ask you who's going to be using this PC. So this is going to be the username of the local account that you want to set up. So I'm going to set this just as Matthew for this uh, demo today's tutorial. Leave it as that. And again, you can also set a password if you wish. You don't have to. I mean, I normally recommend setting one, but if you don't want to, then that's absolutely fine. So we'll just hit on next just right here. You'll then see that the PC will then say just a moment and it's just going to do a quick restart. Now once it restarts, it will then say hi and it's going to bring you through the usual getting things ready for you. Now, as you previously know, that we always had to run through those set of questions during the setup, which obviously, as you saw right then, I was at the very first screen of when you turn on the PC during its setup procedure. And I haven't even gone any further than that. I've simply just done the command and straight away, it's already taken us to the procedure after you run through all of it and then set, begin setting up Windows, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll let this set up and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. So once it's done the initial setup Windows screen, you'll then be brought back to this screen here. This is obviously the most common questions that we always see during the setup procedure, you know, where it's asking where Microsoft can use your location and various things like that. Now, most commonly, you will probably do the same as me. Just go to no, click accept, no again, just keep click in no, send the required only, and then just click no here, no again, again, just keep on clicking no like this, and then they go, and straight away we're now into the Windows desktop. Now, at this point, you might want to maybe consider using something like OO Shut Up 10, which is again, I'll put the link for that down in the description box down below. That is some really good software if you are looking to actually disable the telemetry and stop Microsoft actually from spying on you, and you can disable various other things in Windows as well to improve your overall privacy. But as you can see now, we're on our desktop. If we just go to the Start button right here, click on our account in the bottom left, and as you can see, we've nicely got this local account. And that is now not set up as a Microsoft account, which is, again, what we are all trying to just always achieve during when we set up a either a new laptop for ourselves or, or PC, or even if we are setting up another laptop or device for, an, like I said, for example, if you're an IT admin and you're looking to set up some laptops for uh, another user. So I hope that's helped you guys out there. If it has, please smash that like button to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button as well to help me continue growing the channel. And let me know your thoughts on this. Has it worked? for you or have you run into any problems feel free to let me know down in the comment section down below you can also check me out on social media on the following facebook instagram tiktok and twitter and again all the links for that will be down in the description box down below and you can also join my discord server again if you want to reach out to me or anyone in the discord server directly for any support but as always guys thanks for watching until next time i'll catch you then bye for now